Extra Minutes. I first met Chris O'Brien just after he was diagnosed with his brain tumour and my little girl uh, had just been born, my first daughter, and I left the hospital when 60 Minutes said to me, we want you to do a story with Chris O'Brien. So I drove to Palm Beach in Sydney and went kayaking with Chris and his son James and the man's spirit and determination and fight to beat this insidious brain tumour, which had a survival rate of only one to two percent, uh, blew me away. I don't want to be bashed over the head with the, with the potential outcomes. I will seek nothing but an absolutely successful outcome. Even though as a doctor, well, I don't want to bash you over the head with it, but there's a one to two percent survival rate, or put another way, 98 percent will die. Yep. Well, why can't I be in the one to two percent? It's not zero. Uh, why can't I be, be in, in that group? You get one go and you grasp it with both hands and you don't stop. And the thing I've learnt is you never ever give up. The Chris O'Brien Lifehouse in Sydney is one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever had the privilege of setting foot in. It is just majestic. It is comforting. It is warm. It's a tribute to Chris's vision for this world-class one-stop shop, if you like, for cancer treatment. The design, the architecture, just quite beautiful. And uh, what the great thing is, is around the world, especially in America, they have these cancer centres like the Sloan Kettering Centre in New York, where you go for your treatment. And that's so important to a cancer patient. I know with Chris and Gail, they had to traipse all over Sydney to various hospitals and medical places for his treatment and that's just not good enough in the 21st century and that's why Chris has had this vision to build the Chris O'Brien Lifehouse and uh, it is truly a monument to, to what he wanted, it's a, a, his great legacy. Whatever my fate is, I'll, I'll walk to it unafraid and with the great, great honour of as I go knowing that perhaps I'm leaving behind uh, you know, a few good things that I've done and a knowledge that will bear no influence on me but may provide some consolation for Gail and the children that, that I've made a good contribution and that I'll be well remembered. This is a tribute to Chris, to Gail and to the whole O'Brien family and uh, I'm honoured to report it.